Peace and blessing to you, my dear friends. May God, who is faithful, be with you and your loved ones. This is Sister Daisy of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation has come near. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains, and those inside the city must leave it, and those out in the country must not enter it. For these are days of vengeance as a fulfillment of all that is written. Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing infants in those days. For there will be great distress on the earth and wrath against these people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken away as captives among all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on the earth distress among nations, confused by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. Now, when these things begin to take place, stand up, stand up, and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. My dear brothers and sisters, new life emerges out of some form of suffering. This is nature's law. Just as a mother goes through labor pains to bring forth her child, so will the return of the Son of Man in glory be pre-announced and ushered in by frightful cosmic manifestations that will cause many to suffer and some to die. But just as the destruction of Jerusalem is prophesied by Jesus as the fulfillment of all the scriptures, so the appearance of the frightful signs must be seen in a positive light as heralding the completion of God's plan of redemption. We believers are to face them with confidence and hope. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, strengthen our faith that we might endure all the catastrophic occurrences that will precede your return in glory. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. <laughs>